Hi everybody and welcome to uh, the next part of the Beard Lab Editor tutorial. This one we're going to be going over navigation and everything to do with navigation. So when I'm building navigation I like to go inside this AI tab right here. It gives you a lot of different options that you can go through. Then I would like to do is click spawn nav surface and you just click and you spawn this nav surface. So what this does is it designates that it's a room. So you pretty much want to go through the place and select where each quote unquote room is. So it's going to be a room here. Um, and each room doesn't mean that this whole place here is one room. You want to kind of separate it so enemies will You'll be in this area, and then you'll be on the steps, and then you'll be on the landing up here, and this platform up here, in this room, and there. So that's generalized sort of thing, just like that. Jeff, just a general layout of each room. I'm not going to do this area, so I'm going to show you how to do how to block navigation from building. So once you set up every single room, you have your areas out laid out like that. Oh, I forgot this one. Right there. Yeah. So once you have that, you then want to go and to spawn. And what you're looking for are two things. Oh, whoops. You're looking for two things. We got nav blockers and nav splitters. Sometimes they're labeled incorrectly, so you'll have to just spawn them in. But for the most part, green ones. Um, to see, you just go to the cog and editor units. If you disable it, you don't see this stuff because this only shows in the editor. Anyways, as I was saying, we have green ones. Uh, this one is a splitter, so it's labeled correctly. Sometimes they're not. And we have this blocker. Blockers are red. Now sometimes there. See like that one? Click it. It's a navigation splitter, but this is red. So this is actually a navigation blocker. What is one that I'm looking for? Yeah, sometimes there are these green ones. Most of the time, they are splitters. But I just try to stay away from these. And just try to stick with the solid green and solid red ones. Alright. So, what you want to do with this is... I want a smaller one. I want this 2 by 3 one right here. So the nav splitter, what it does is it goes in between two nav surfaces. So we have that nav surface there, this nav surface here. This goes in between where the doorway would be. And to make it work better, we take these nav blockers and we put them on the edges. Um, this just helps make sure that because um, if we did this oh, have, there you go. So we did this. You see that there's a little gap here. Sometimes that can glitch out and the nav from this room and this room will merge even though there's a splitter in between. Adding the nav blocker on the ends pretty much just makes sure that this splitter is being used. All right. Okay, what I like to do is just simple, hold down Alt, copy paste the whole thing, and just set it up in every single doorway.
Okay, so now that I've gone through, put nav splitters in every single doorway, and nav blockers where I needed to, like where I don't want AI to go. Once you've done that, you go back to the W, click AI, and you want to hit build navigation data. Hit proceed. At this point, the game will become extremely laggy. It's usually just best to walk up, go do something else, come back. Depends how big the map is. If it's a big map, it'll take a long time. If it's a small map, it won't take that long. In our case, though, it was a small map, so you don't have to worry too much. All right, and then you come back in, you'll notice that there's not much different, but there is. We come back into AI, and we just highlight every single one. We'll see that there's blue going on every single surface. So this is pretty much the navigation data. All the blue is where AI can walk, and the yellow strands going in between the nav surfaces indicate um, the connections. So AI will stand here, and they'll be like, hey, to go, um, the only way to go is to go to the next room here. And from this way, they can path either this way, this way, or this way. All right. And then what you want to do from here, you want to go check every single nav surface. Just make sure they're all connected. You see from here, there's three different ways to come out. If, for instance, this yellow line did not connect to here, you know that there's a, uh, there's something wrong with this nav splitter. Alright. So we come up here, we see it comes up, and then to here, oh, just like what I was talking about, there's no, there's no line that connects to this room. So there's something wrong with these two nav splitters. So that comes to here, that's perfect. Um... Oh yeah, and when you go into here and select it with this, when you click on an object, it tells you the the room that it's in. So you can see it goes up to the nav splitter. Okay, so for some reason these two do not connect. My theory is that this needs some splitters on each side because it's not detecting I think it's detecting that these two are the same room. Oh yeah, because of this. It's coming coming in and then out. Yeah, okay. And as you can see, there's a little bit of bleeding out through the windows, and I don't want that. I don't want the AI to be on the rooftop up here. So it connects to here. That's perfect. There you go. Alright, so where it's just going to come over here and fix the issues. Alright, so we fixed those, we're just going to hit build navigation data again, and it'll go through. Perfect. And we'll go back through again. Just check everything. So you see now that I added this and the windows. You can see now that there's a connection between this room and this room. So you can see now that uh, the navigation for the AI will work a lot better. Because before they would have not passed to this area. Alright. Now that we got that all done, I'm going to hit disable that. Yeah, it's all good. Now that we've built in the navigation data, whoops, we can go into here and go spawn enemy dummy. All right. So we can go and hit test. It'll spawn an enemy right there. If we were to do that in a location, like up here, we know for certain that there's no navigation data up here. If we do test, it'll work. But if we do execute, he will try to path his way to the closest surface, eventually. It doesn't really work when you're in the editor mode. So we can see that if we spawn him out of bounds, 
He just won't move. He, he has no way to path. But, if we spawn this guy down here... Spawn this guy, this guy can move perfectly fine because he's doing pathing. Oh, this guy did pathing now. Oh, because he walked to the n nearest uh, navigation. Yes, that is why. So you might be wondering why they sometimes jump up randomly. Alright. That's because when I made the... I'm just going to deal with these guys. When I made the navigation, I made a mistake. So, that mistake that I made was I used world. Alright. That means no matter what, these objects will be loaded. So the AI will walk into it and they'll trigger, they'll, their mind, they see this object. So they'll jump up and down like they're jumping over it. A simple fix is to go and change it to editor. Now, doing that, it's pretty annoying. So, we can do our handy dandy trick. Go to nav. There you go, if I spell it right. We go into here. We can type in and select select all of them but we don't want the surfaces so we can just go type in surface hit deselect all there you go hit the check mark and it highlights every single nav splitter and nav blocker what we could do from here just hit continent change it to editor only and then you're good the thing with that is we are in the editor so that these do get loaded so when you're playtesting in the editor, the AI will jump up in between, but uh, when you're not in the editor, they will not jump up. So you don't have to worry too much about that. All right. So that's how you do that and how you build navigation. Next episode, we'll be going over how to build an assault wave. Um, so it naturally spawns enemy, and we'll be going over how to disallow AI from walking into certain areas.